Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of building the Siege of Bricks Conquest. This is now episode 4 and all is just looking so good already even though we have still a lot of work ahead. As I said last time I had a pretty intensive 3 weeks, that's why we didn't have an update last weekend but luckily I found some time to make some significant progress on the mock so there will be definitely something to talk about as I've almost finished the second base plate. But before we jump into the actual progress, as usual a little recap of what this series is all about because with each video we're gaining some new viewers so I'm guessing there will be some here as well. So to sum everything up very briefly, this mock is a part of a collaborative build with my friend Edge of Bricks in which we are once again building a siege of a medieval castle. I say again because we already did that once two years ago, but this year it's a whole nother level. In this collab Edge is building the castle which you can check out in his own building series on his channel and I am making a part of a village in front of the castle with an army charging towards the gate. Last time you already saw a pretty decent part of the second base plate done but this time it is almost finished completely with an addition of the completed foliage that will be near the castle since I finally got my hands on the bricks and pieces order that I was waiting for for over a month. So to start this week's progress walkthrough let's go with that. As you can see the ground finally got covered with the missing olive green parts so it created a nice surface to be covered in different types of plants and finally I could consider this part to be finished completely. Of course there are still some plates missing on the water but I don't worry about that too much since it's not that crucial to finish it at the moment and I will get a trans clear plate sooner or later. But back to the foliage on that side of the river. It's covered very densely with different types of flowers and bushes with even a couple of mushrooms and a squirrel hiding among them. All of these plants may look familiar if you're watching Edge of Bricks series because I tried to copy his design as this part will be connected to his so it all should look as uniform as possible. The part where I could get a lot more creative is the other side of the river which if you saw the previous episodes then you are quite familiar with but now I've completed the whole ship pen and can consider this part to be finished as well. I've replaced a couple of miscolored dots pieces on the freeform edge and made this grass hill with a lot of wedge plates, tiles and of course a bunch of grass stems. The thing that I'm especially excited about is this tree stem from the old western team Indian sets that I was hunting for for quite a long time. I gotta say that it wasn't the cheapest part but it was definitely worth it and I will gladly use it in my other mocks in the future as well. To make it even more appealing I just placed some leaves and grass stems inside and all of a sudden some vermin came and took it as its home. But anyway, to make the ship pen complete we had to have a fence so as I told you in the last episode I decided to make it with flex cables I got in my lookbook order, tangled up over a couple of brown bars and as predicted this technique was a bullseye to use. The fence looks so good in my opinion and it's a perfect finish for this part of the mock, besides the ship gazing on the grass of course. As for the other side of the road I couldn't finish it right away because I've already ran out of most of my green wedge plates so I decided to move the mock aside and make an apple tree to plant there. And I think I came up with the best tree I made so far. It took a couple of hours spent over 2 or 3 days and a few tries to get it right but I'm really happy of how it looks and how sturdy it is because of the flex tubes inside. Of course thanks to the flex tubes I was able to bend the tree a bit to give it a more natural look and could make the crown of the tree very dense with a lot of different types of leaves. The trunk itself is actually very simple in design just using a couple of segments placed around Travis bricks and stuck on the flex tube and finally to make it even better I played around a bit with the roots trying to make them as natural looking as I could. Now it should be planted on the side of the road but for that I need those green wedge plates. Luckily for me the seller that I ordered them from was very quick with sending the parts 
So I think we can do it still in this episode with a little time lapse. So first let's see the few parts I got and then we'll make some grass to go under the tree. So what I got of course are a couple of different types of wedges that I will use to create the layers of grass just like on the sheep pen and a couple of different types of green tiles since I've also used most of the ones I had. I also got some more apples for the tree, a few parts for mushrooms and a couple of horn pieces for branches as well as missing parts for my battering ram which I should finish today as well. The rest are just some single random parts for the minifigures that will for sure become handy here. So yeah, not the biggest hole, but at least it was quick and now we can switch to making the part of the grass under the tree and of course plant the tree itself, so sit back and enjoy this little time lapse I made. it is guys, the ground is ready, grass stems are sticking out, the roots are set in place, so now we can finally plant the apple tree. And just wow, not the most humble thing to say, but this is just gorgeous. I really like how the tree is standing here proudly over the road and the natural bending of the trunk makes it even better. Now there is just the pig pen left to make next to the tree and the whole base plate will be complete. But that will be a part of the next episode. For now I just wanted to finish the battering ram switching a few of the miscolored parts I was missing last time so that I could put it on the road and see how it looks in place. I've also changed the roof a bit since many of you guys recommended it after seeing the prototype last time and I have to say that it looks much better so thanks for that. And that is basically all of the progress for this update. Now we can finally start making the third and final base plate on which the house will be situated on and maybe something more. But about that we'll talk about in the next episode since I'm not 100% sure how I want to approach it yet. Now it's time for you guys to tell me what you think about the progress I made in the comments section below. And of course give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Oh and just a friendly reminder that I'm hosting a castle mock contest on my channel so check out the video on the right if you're interested. There is still over a month to build something, so get to it guys. Now with all that said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next episode. And until then, remember to keep it breaking.